Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about the Joker, you know, the just released Joker. And this is DC's latest movie and I think this is one of the best DC movies in a while apart from the Dark Knight trilogy. When the first announcement came that we were going to do a Joker movie, this came right, I think right after Suicide Squad. And after the stressful thing that was Suicide Squad, I was a bit reluctant to like be involved or like get excited about a new Joker movie because we all saw what Jared Leto did to the Joker. I don't know if he did it or if the director decided to make him have free reign but whatever it was that Joker was atrocious to say the least. So it made me very apprehensive and reluctant to like be excited about the Joker because everybody knows that like DC has like one of the best villains and Joker is like my favorite villain of all time right. So I didn't put any mind to it. Then earlier this year, I saw the trailer, like when they released the first trailer for it. And when I saw it, my excitement went from zero to a thousand because I was like, yes, this is what we've been waiting for. Like DC, this is what we wanted you to give to us, you know, instead of like Batman versus Superman, the Superman movie, the, you know, all those movies. No, we wanted the dark, the gritty, the... Mm, what DC is known for. So when I saw the trailer for the joke, I'm like, yes, DC is finally back. I saw the first trailer, I saw the second trailer, and I was like, I need to see this movie in the theaters. And that's exactly what I did. Now, you see, there's a thing. Joker can be seen in various forms. You can see Joker as a social commentary, Joker as the DC movie, Joker as the Oscar contender. You know, Joker has like very, you know, layered facets. And the very interesting thing about Joker is that when it came out, a lot of the critics hated it, which was really weird. Because like, when a movie comes out, I thought like, because from the way they were talking about the trail, everybody like was really excited about it. The media had really hyped up the movie. And then the moment the movie comes out, all of a sudden the media is like, don't see the Joker. Who, why did they do the Joker? Da 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 da, the Joker. So I'm like, hmm, what's happening with the Joker? You know what, let me just read a synopsis for the Joker. Forever alone in a crowd, failed comedian Arthur Fleck seeks connection as he walks the streets of Gotham City. Arthur wears two masks, the one he paints for his day job as a clown and the guys he projects in a futile attempt to feel like he's part of the world around him. Isolated, bullied and disregarded by society, Fleck begins a slow descent into madness as he transforms into the criminal mastermind known as the Joker. Now, this Joker Joaquin Phoenix's Joker reminds me so much of Fox's Gotham, like Jerome Velasca, his Joker, because, you know, I like the fact that they didn't try to, like, give him, like, you know, something, something extremely crazy happened to him. That's why he changed from being this good person to being a bad person, like kind of what they did for Two-Face. This is just someone that, you know, it was a journey into the madness. That's a, that's a really great thing I liked about it. It wasn't like it was this good person, then all of a sudden he changed. No, this is like someone that you could slowly see his trajectory, like you could slowly feel like, oh, okay, this happened, and then that happened. You can see his, you know, his slow descent into like the real madness of Joker or anything. Who I can finish this performance was just stellar and I feel and I get why people are you know giving him the Oscar nod you know because we've all like had like right now the Joker there's like you know there's Jack Nicholson's Joker there's Heath Ledger's Joker there was Jared Leto's very forgettable Joker and then now there's Joaquin Phoenix's Joker and he's like I hear like he's a real favorite to become to get like an Oscar nod and I feel like he deserves it because you know it takes like real acting chops to act like you are like you've lost your mind you don't care about the society around you like everything that's happening is just crazy or it's just madness and that was great and this is the thing I feel like this is why the media didn't like the Joker because the Joker paints the media as the bad guy think about it when he kills the three people on the train right and the way the media reported, the media reported like, hmm, rich people killed by an underdog. Is this, you know, a Robin Hood kind of killer? And they sort of elevated his status and, and then all of a sudden people are wearing clown masks. You can't tell people not to wear clown masks when you are the same person that decided to blow this out of proportion. If you had put a small note, oh, three people killed. So sad, tragedy, and ended. But they decided to make whoever the killer was like a cult figure. 
you know and then blow him up blow him up blow him up and then he was able to finally get like a spot on one of their esteemed late night shows with robert de niro and then the media once again he's invited to come on this late night show and on this late night show he's sort of portrayed as the anti-hero so you know you can't have it any other ways when you give coverage when you give continuous coverage to someone you elevate that person's status whether for good or for bad for better for worse that person is going to be elevated in the eyes of so many people so i feel like it was a great critique on like the media because oh god for the past couple of months we've been bombarded with like 24 hour news cycle is like one of the weirdest things that ever happened because every single time certain news items that you feel like this thing shouldn't be news is talk about over and over and over again before you realize it it's a thing when it wasn't even a thing in the first place do you get it so that is sort of what the joker points out like things are not supposed to be blown out of proportion the media feeds it and fans the flames and before you realize it other people they are copycat killers or they are copycat stuff and then you then they go back and be like hmm why are all these things happening lately well have you forgotten that you gave it like airtime media coverage like do you get it so anyways that's my super short commentary part. So I feel like the Joker is, it really look, takes a look at how the media fans issues, how the media makes everything become a big deal more than it is. This Joker was great. I like, you know, when he, when he was hallucinating his neighbor, so you actually felt that, oh, the neighbor was there. And then all of a sudden it was like, a, it was a hallucination. And this Joker is very bleak. Like this Joker is like, 100% bleak like there's he didn't catch a break not once in life and I feel like that is true because sometimes you can go through a whole year and you cannot catch just one break like you hear bad news after bad news and everything is bombarding you it feels like you know there's nothing you can do and if you are not a strong person you snap like he did and kill some people and be like you know what F all of you for thinking that you can get away with this bullshit. I really like the tone of them. I like the way it was dark. I like the, you know, the cinematography was just, Mwah. you know, when DZ does good stuff, they really do good stuff. But when they do horrible, oh, that descends into the horrible is very horrible. But when DZ decides to like be on point for cinematography, like be on point, the cinematography was just, it was just, you know, it was just sublime. It was one of those things that you watch here, like, you know what? I don't want to be here because Gotham is quite a very dark and scary place to be. Like, but at the same time, I want to like, you know, reach out and see what's what's going on. That's those are my personal feelings. So the closing shot when he's talking to the psychiatrist, and then there's a, you know, there's a pull-out shot of Bruce Wayne standing over his parents. Oof, oof. I know, like. First of all, I know this Joker isn't set in the same universe as, you know, the Batman we know it. Even though they, I'm sure they're going to give us a different iteration of Batman for the next movie. But that shot where it just like panned out and pulled out to show Bruce Wayne standing over his parents. Ooh. If that isn't like a great uh, backstory, I don't know what it is. Because it was just done so beautifully. And also the fact that his like uh, Joker is... Bruce Wayne's stepbrother because you know how like in the comics in the shows in the movies there's, there's always been like some this sort of push and pull between Joker and I feel like this movie tried to like establish like a backstory to it that oh they are actually like related you know there's like a sibling kind of relationship between them but mm, the Joker is just very very amazing so I'm done with my review of the Joker which I, honestly if you haven't seen Joker you should honestly honestly go out and watch it because it's good if if you are a fan of like very noir kind of thrillers because that's a thriller that's, I mean you're not going to see anyone come save the day because there's no saving the day in this movie okay it's all madness it's all you know darkness and if that is your cup of tea please make sure you watch it so anyways have you seen the joker what did you think about the joker did you enjoy it or were you very like disturbed by the image that was going on did you think that a different person should have played the Joker? Did you want a different Joker? Did you want like the edition 52 or you wanted like the various editions of like the Joker? Tell me what you thought about it in the comments below. My name is Ifa Labi. I haven't introduced myself. That was very terrible of me. Anyway, my name is Ifa Labi. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel because I'm assuming you're subscribed to my channel by now. And I'll see you on my next video.